Okay, let's get started on the ah vowel. Now, the ah vowel, as I've mentioned quite a few times in my volumes, is, uh, it is the cornerstone of, of all the vowel sounds that we sing. Ah, it's the la, ah, as though a doctor has a tongue suppressor and he's holding down your tongue and he wants to see your tonsils, right? Really bright um, and really well placed. Now, we start with our diaphragm. We've talked about that before. We don't have time to cover that here. We talked about the chest being three quarters full. We talked about not getting the spine tipped in any direction. Because this down here, the diaphragm, is the engine that drives your car. So without it, you're not going to be able to have a well-placed vowel sound. And without this nice, bright ah sound that we're working on now, uh, it's not going to relate to you in the same way. So um, high berries and, uh, and uh, tenors and whatnot, you're going to be with me. We're going to start here on E. Uh, and if you're an alto, you can go up a minor third, and if you're a soprano, you can start at the octave if you want to go up that high. Now, the goal here, though, isn't to see how high we can go. In fact, it's the opposite. We want to be able to relax to sounds that um, are not stressing out the chord or, or stretching the chord. We want to be able to relax into very comfortable places. So, if this is too high for you, back it down a couple notes and start a little bit lower. But, we're going to start on the ah. Uh, vibrato, just a little bit, we increased intensity, we increased the speed a little bit, and we got to a point where we laxed it. So eventually, when you get there, it'll be... Now, notice that there's like no tension in my neck, there's no tension here, my digastric muscle's not coming down on me, I'm really in a relaxed state. That's what you want to do. You want to be in a completely relaxed state. So you start So you're totally relaxed when you get to the note. Because you should be able to sustain that note, not in the chest, not by holding air in the chest, but by the diaphragm sustaining for you. Now this is where it gets interesting. So um, again, there's this discussion that a vibrato, or what's, what's called abdominal vibrato, or diaphragmatic vibrato, um, is, is, a, is anathema, or cursed, um, and it's not natural. That's actually not true. The whole reason I'm able to relax into vibrato is because of my diaphragm. Now, I'm not going, or, you know, really fast, but I'm relaxing, but I'm in a state of relaxation because I have the support mechanism to sustain it. That's what I want you guys to do, to have the support mechanism. Let's go a little higher. Right? So you notice that I hold the whole tone, I hold it steady, and then once my support mechanism kicks in, I relax to the sound. So what your job is, Start on the whole tone, be gentle. By the way, um, I want to emphasize something. I talked about resonance. The reason my voice sounds big isn't because I'm forcing a lot of air. It's because I've been working the voice so long that when I relax into that sound, it just sounds big, but I'm not working at it very hard. So don't let that um, uh, throw you off. In your vibrato, it'll probably be a lot smaller. The sound will be smaller, that's okay. The sound will grow and that resonance will take over. So again, uh, let's go up. Did I do that? Um, uh, or, I think it was on the L. Now notice I'm not going. Go, 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 go. I don't have gospel jaw. I'm not going. I'm not going. You know, I'm not going. I'm not doing the goat wiggle. It's a natural state. It's a relaxed state. Okay. Now, if this is too high, like I said, start out a little lower because it, you know I don't. Depending on your vocal range, everybody's got a different range. Um, we're gonna go a little higher. As you go up the scale, I want you to have the sensation of less pressure, not more pressure. Let me say that again. 
When you're relaxing into vibrato, I want you to have the sensation of less pressure, not more pressure. Second thing, try not to go straight to BAM vibrato. Understand the feeling in the throat for a well-placed, well-supported, clear tone, whole note. Start at that place first and gently relax and release into vibrato. Because you'll find it's kind of annoying when someone always, especially in the operatic world, where every single time they hit a note, they wham, they kill you with vibrato right off the bat. Vibrato is sexy, and I don't mean that in a, a, in a um, promiscuous sense. It's, it's, it's supposed to be sensual, I believe. And, and you want to use it kind of sparingly and, and have it come out when it's supposed to, to relax to a note, to make the note into, uh, you know, the, the grand finale of the, of the note, if you will. So have a view towards that too, to where it's not all about vibrato. Every time you open your mouth, vibrato has to come out, okay? <laughs> So you're going to relax to the sound. I deliberately started slow. Now normally I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that, of course. I'm trying to show you and demonstrate how you'd start with the oscillation slow. Try to understand how much width is relaxing in, into you for your vibrato. Practice that. We can do the oh, you know, practice, you know, the stuff that we've done. But notice, like if I were to do the vibrato myself, a It's a natural thing I just release to, and you notice it just gets nice and big and full, and I don't have to work so hard at the sound, okay? So let me let you try this one here. And again, if this is too high for you, back it down, it's okay. I'll do it with you now and show you what I would do. start to gently roll into the sound. Let's go a little higher. Really? Ah. Really? Ah. Okay. And you're going to feel that station. Now, I, here's what I don't want to have happen. I don't want your body going, and you're feeling your body shake and all this kind of weird stuff. I really want you to feel the, the relaxation of this. It's about the support, it's about the breath, it's about control of the breath, it's about relaxing to the sound of a well-placed vowel sound, okay? So if you feel your body shaking or you feel your abdomen shaking, that's not correct. The abdomen will be firm, the chest and neck and throat will be relaxed. Let's do it again. <laughs> all over the place, I'm in a relaxed state, okay? So practice that, and let's continue. Now, we're up kind of high, so if you notice, I went from A to A, and it's part of the vowel modifications that's in the program that we talked about. So what I want you to do is, again, refer to the program. So you want to actually get, that's an A, you know, it's an A4, and it's going up to the, to the C. Hello. To the B and it's a high note. If you can't do it, don't worry about it. It's just let's, I'm trying to get you guys again. I said you know don't sing high notes or whatever, but it's it go as high as you can. But ah, ah, uh, I'm almost in the uh like hook like we do in the volumes. Um, okay, so remember our vowel modifications because as we go up, we're going to need to change those vowel mods. Ah goes to ah and ah goes to uh, uh goes to ooh. Those don't change, so we have to remember to do that because that's part of the relaxation process. Remember. 
it's the final stage of the relaxation process, not somewhere in the middle, okay? So... Now I kind of over-exaggerated the ah, uh, ah, uh, uh, right? But I want you to see how it plays in, because if I relax to the ah, uh, ah, uh, we can get to the ah, uh, ah, uh, and I, I'll open the sound up for pop more. That's more of a bel canto approach. But notice that, you know, that's what the A, right? Pretty high note. Um, I'm, I'm modifying the sound because I need to close it down. If it gets too big, it splats and I can't relax to the sound. Okay? Let's continue. Now open back up the sound, back to the ah now. Open back up because we go It's too covered, too dark Okay, so open back up to the ah Let's do it again By the way, these vowel sounds Again, we've discussed these a lot in the, in the volumes It's really important to understand When to close down to the ah, ah, uh, and oo And if you don't have a working knowledge of that you know, you might want to at least get volume one just so that it made this makes sense to you, okay? Again, support that sound. Here we go. scale. I mean, you don't have to stop where I stop or go as high as I go, but practice these things just individually, just kind of one at a time. Try not to overdo it. If you feel yourself kind of getting hoarse or weird or whatever, stop for a sec. Give yourself 30 seconds, a minute, two minutes. Walk away from it for a second. Come back. Try it again. Don't think that if you crack, it's the end and you can't do it. No, not at all. Now, if you feel your, if you get hoarse, that's different. Even if you get a little sore, and that's another contention I sort of have with the Bel Canto community. You know, we, we do kind of extraordinary things, and um, I mean that in the sense that we push ourselves a little harder, a little harder, a little harder. Um, and in Bel Canto, they want no stress, and that's awesome. But if I go, you know, like I did, when there's a lightning, you know, it always brings me down. And I want to compress the sound. They're like, no, don't distort the chord like that. Well. You know, we do things in the name of pop, in the name of tone, in the name of sound, or singers that we like, the contemporizing things that we like. So um, we find safe ways of doing them, and this is a safe way of doing this. So again, I've been doing this a long time, I'll be 49 this year, and I've been doing this you know, professionally for a very long time, and I've never sung better. I mean, my voice is just, I'm happy with it, you know what I mean? Happy with my vibrato, my tone, uh, my endurance, uh, my range, big time and all those things. So I'm trying to show you how I got here, how I found, figured all this stuff out. Um, nobody has the, no, there's no holy grail of one guy has all the answers. I just have an accumulation of a lot of years of experience in doing this and, you know, applied a, 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 an application to live singing both on the road, night after night, five, six nights a week, all the way to, uh, you know, the most ridiculous imaginable eight hour sessions in studios for days on end of singing like this, you know, night after night. So we'll go down one more. You want to open up the sound more, that's cool. It's a little smarter to close the sound down. And have a little more closed than is open. Um, but anyway, I, and I say that because we're going to do um, 
the next thing we're going to do are uh, the uh, uh, transitional vowels that are going to show you how to transition between vowel sounds with vibrato so we can do them one at a time. So let's do it. Here we go.